especially those who died recently, perhaps with the coronavirus. We pray that their sins may be forgiven. They might go to heaven along with the Christ Jesus, the risen Lord. And we ask their prayers now. Mary, Mama, good mother, bring the presence of all the saints and angels that may participate in this mass with more faith, more love of God. We begin this mass in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. So good morning to all of you. Good afternoon to all of you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, happy Easter. Happy, happy Easter. Easter. Yes, uh, this is the mass of the day. We had the vigil service last evening. This will not be a long mass, a long time like yesterday, a normal Sunday mass. And let's uh, pray for all our intentions in this mass. And the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, love of God the Father, communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. 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 For a moment, let's look at our hearts, ask God's pardon. For the time we allow Jesus to die in us, that is by our sin. But let's rejoice now. He rose again in us because we received absolution of our sins. And we are in grace. Let's thank God, praise God. But let's ask God's mercy, pardon for all the past offenses. Every day, always. We live by His grace. Without His grace, we can do nothing. Lord, ask you grace to continue, to persevere in our decision to be holy and to be with the risen Lord. Now we ask you pardon, mercy, love, with our heart, your heart. So that the living water flowing from your heart continuously flow into us so that we may be always wiped as snow, always full of grace. God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, wash us in his precious dead, and fill us with the grace, with the Holy Spirit, and lead us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. 
Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who on this day to your only begotten Son have conquered death and unlocked for us the path to eternity, Iran, we pray that we who keep the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection may to the renewal brought by your Holy Spirit rise up in the light of life. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter addressed Cornelius and his household. You must have heard about the recent happenings in Judea, about Jesus of Nazareth, and how he began in Galilee after John had been preaching baptism. God had anointed him with the Holy Spirit and with power. And because God was with him, Jesus went about doing good and curing all who had fallen into the power of the devil. Now I and those with me can witness to everything he did throughout the countryside of Judea and in Jerusalem itself, and also to the fact that they killed him by hanging him on a tree. Yet three days afterwards, God raised him to life and allowed him to be seen, not by the whole people, but only by certain witnesses God had chosen beforehand. Now we are those witnesses. We have eaten and drunk with him after his resurrection from the dead. And he has ordered us to proclaim this to his people and to tell them that God has appointed him to judge everyone, alive or dead. It is to him that all the prophets bear this witness that all who believe in Jesus will have their sins forgiven through his name. This is the word of the Lord. 
Aleluya, aleluya, aleluya. Aleluya, aleluya, aleluya. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his love has no end. Let the sons of Israel say, his love has no end. Aleluya, aleluya, aleluya. The Lord's right hand has triumphed. His right hand raised me up. I shall not die. I shall live and recount his deeds. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This is the work of the Lord, a marvel in our eyes. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Since you have been brought back to true life with Christ, you must look for the things that are in heaven, where Christ is, sitting at God's right hand. Let your thoughts be on heavenly things, not on the things that are on the earth, because you have died, and now the life you have is hidden with Christ in God. But when Christ is revealed, and he is your life, you too will be revealed in all your glory with him. This is the word of the Lord. very early on the first day of the week and still dark when Mary of Magdala came to the tomb. She saw that the stone had been removed and it was away from the tomb and came running to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one Jesus loved. They had taken the Lord out of the tomb, she said, and we do not know where they have put him. So Peter shut out with other disciples to go to the tomb. They ran together, but the other disciples, running faster than Peter, reached the tomb first. He bent down and saw the linen clothes lying on the ground, but did not go in. 
Shaman Peter, who was following, now came up, went right into the tomb, showed the linen clothes on the ground, or showed the clothes that had been over his head. This is the linen clothes, but rolled up in a place by itself. Then the other disciple who had reached the tomb first <clears throat> also went in. He saw and he believed. Till this moment, they had failed to understand the teaching of scripture and he must, that he must rise again from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Very interesting. Mary Magdalene then told the portions of disciples. Uh, Jesus' body is not there. So, didn't have faith. She went to see the dead body. Not the risen Lord. Uh, so she went and told that body is not there. She didn't say Jesus rose again. She, she, she again, she faith. If she had faith, when she did not find the body, she would have gone and said, oh, Jesus is risen. No, she could not say. We didn't find the, So somebody has stolen the body. Uh, somebody has taken away the body. That was the report. And then we see two gentlemen. Peter and John are running. Who ran first? Not the beloved disciple. His love for Jesus was great. So you are, mm, right, run faster than Peter. Run. But he did not go inside because the superior is Peter. Hallelujah. He is the ringleader. So he showed the clothes uh, inside. So he allowed Peter to go and verify and do it. Then I go. Here we see how they respected or honored Peter, the first pope. And here we see two pieces of cloth. One is the cloth now that is exposed in uh, Turin, uh, the shroud, very well known, the cloth that was covering Jesus. The other one which was on the head, the other place rolled, that is in Oviedo in uh, Spain. So these clothes are still, and you know, it's a wonderful examining scientists found out that in all this both there are the particles of the blood of Jesus AB positive which in all the Eucharistic miracle it was proved so these are two big pieces of what you call relics of Jesus and uh, now know this week I think the uh, the come upon the whole world to wipe away corona hallelujah and you know actually the resurrection gives great hope. In this time, all are asking, when is this corona going to end? Whenever we have a problem, difficulty, a hurdle, you always think that, oh, finished. It is finished. And you hear also many people say, oh, the business is finished. Now the economy is finished. So we always said something, personal life also, we finished. I remember when I was kidnapped in India and I was asked not to preach. And everybody thought my ministry finished. But I knew, no, I believe uh, my ministry is not finished. But my superiors, thinking that it is finished, put me in a place where even I don't know language in Karnataka, in Bangalore. Mm. For many people, my ministry was finished. But the Lord rose me or raised me up from there. I came to Europe. Even two years ago. Uh, somebody from Spain, come two days, each wrote a letter to Holy Father Pope, the greatest authority in the church, against me. I know to preach. And we thought, finished. Yeah, but God had a plan. So, resurrection is giving that actually uh, the, the meaning. There are many circumstances or times we think finished. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, uh, maybe a sickness, oh, finished. Now, I may not be getting up from that sickness. Yeah, when I was sick, that's what the many thought. Even the doctor said, finished. Uh, finished, you'll die within 24 hours. But always you must know God had planned to raise us up. That the Lord is giving that hope today, the message of the resurrection. Uh, nothing is finished. It is like uh, when we are in the car driving, but probably when I go with the uh, Gabi here, often the navigator telling. Uh, at the end of the road, turn to the left. That means road is ended. No, road never ends. And you can bend. Yes, our life is like that. Our life never ends. It goes. And there may be bends here and there. So that you take right or left then again. But go on. Even here, perhaps dying with a corona or a disease. Life is not ended. Surely a turn. 
Alleluia. So this is the faith and hope we should have in Jesus Christ the Lord. The world is not going to end. Huh? Yeah, end of the road. Always we find that. There will be a road. At the end, there will be a bend. But the navigator says, end of the road. Hallelujah. A road can never end. It goes on, goes on, goes on, goes on. A life also like that goes on, never ends. I have given a message for Easter. Just, you know, I put four points. It was a talk I prepared for uh, to when I went to USA for the retreat. And the Lord inspired me. What's actually the fruit of uh, uh, resurrection? What's the fruit we have to uh, reap from this uh, resurrection? Number one is reconciliation. We are reconciled. All the walls that was dividing were broken by resurrection. We read in uh, Ephesians chapter 2, 14 onwards. And now we are reconciled with God. As I told yesterday, heaven was shut. There was no possibility of going to heaven. It's open. And all those who died and those who were alive were able to go to heaven. Now also the possibility, we know that. But reconciling means getting complete forgiveness of our sins and becoming one with God. But that's possible only if you have done that to be others. Jesus said, if you don't forgive others, you will not be forgiven. So reconciliation or with man and with God, God goes together. At this moment, we had asked ourselves, are we reconciled with all? Then only we can say, I have the fruit of the resurrection, reconciliation with God. Number two is redemption. You know, redemption is a buying back a slave. To buy back something or somebody, we have to pay a ransom. We have to pay money or gold. That was the uh, old, uh, olden times when the, mm -hmm. there was slavery. So we were slaves to sin and Satan. Jesus paid his life. Uh, his blood. Blood means life. So that was the cost he paid in order to redeem us. So let's be sure that we are redeemed by the blood of Christ. So we are no more under the slavery of sin. Let's assert it. At the same time, put in a hand on the chest to ask, am I still under the slavery of alcohol? Am I under the slavery of any immoral behavior or any aggressiveness? Maybe stubbornness, maybe anger, uh, pride, selfishness. If you have any bondage, we are under the bondage of Satan. We are not redeemed. So, looking at Jesus, we can say, yes, he redeemed me. But am I redeemed at last? Number three, justification. What is the meaning? It's a court to term. It is not a court when a culprit, a criminal, is justified. And the judge says, no more. He's a culprit. He's free, liberated. I remember uh, in Saudi Arabia when I was caught with a thousand rosaries. Uh, I knew, I thought I would be punished, maybe life imprisonment or maybe beheading. And, but a captain, American captain, came and pleaded my case. I said, look at James, he's innocent. That means he took all my guilt and said, James is free. The judge said, James is free. Hallelujah. We see we are taking the sin of somebody and making the other one the culprit free, like in the Maximilian call baby, you know the story. You know? Uh, he was uh, he was not the, among the condemned, but he uh, took the responsibility of another man who had a wife and children, and he uh, died for the other person. Actually, like Jesus died for us. So uh, we are justified. Jesus is telling, you are in Christ Jesus. Now you are no more condemnation. Hallelujah. Uh, yeah. We are no more. We read in Romans chapter 8, 1. He who is in Christ Jesus, he has no condemnation. And there also we ask, yes, in Jesus, I'm not condemned. But do I have a condemnation in me? If I don't believe, yes, I'm condemned. Jesus said very clearly in John chapter 3, uh, 16, the greatest word. No? Uh, God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. And all those who believe in him will have eternal life. And the following verse he says, there is condemnation those who do not believe in him. Hallelujah. So, if you are not believing in him, eh, believing in his word, believing in him means believing in his words. We know, if we believe with our heart, Jesus rose again from the dead and pronounced with the lips that Jesus is Lord, we are saved. We read in Romans chapter 10 verse 9. Correct, but 
believing in the heart, not simply saying that Jesus is Lord, Jesus is Lord, you don't be shaped. But that belief is an, what you call doing something. That means uh, uh, for everything, I claim healing. I know my Jesus is risen in me. Not like this uh, lady, such a lady, her, who went to the tomb, who would remove the stone. And here also, my Mary Martha coming, oh, the body, that body is not found. No faith. We have faith. For example, I lost my job. Surely, ah, God has kept another job for me. I will not be worried. That is faith. That's what I had. I tell you, two, three, four times my uh, actually stone was put on me and sealed my work of evangelization. Now, humanly speaking, there was no chance. Mm -hmm. For example, two years ago, when the Rome said, no more preaching. Finished. Hallelujah. Highest authority. That made big stone put and sealed. And, but I believe my God has a plan. He called me. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So, that, that we must put faith in the Lord. Show that he can break the hurdles and go ahead. That real living, claiming faith, I call it. Uh, you have heard from my retreats. Number four, sanctification, righteousness. We are made holy by Jesus uh, because he washed away our sin in his blood. And that is God's will for you. You know that in every retreat I ask uh, all of you, what is God's will for you? And you answer, my, my holiness. holiness. Yes, Jesus won holiness for you and for me. So these four points, when we look at Jesus, yes, we are reconciled. We are redeemed and we are justified. We are made holy. You know, there is a wrong teaching in all over the world nowadays. People say, oh, now you can live as you like. You are redeemed. We are holy. No more condemnation. No more curse. No more sin. All will go to heaven. In Jesus, you are redeemed. That's an easy way of preaching. There are so many people preaching that way. Uh, nowadays in Kerala also, in my country, I see some people with the influence of the Protestants or Pentecost who say, all of you are saved, don't worry. And even some Catholic theologians, bishops say, oh, no hell, no heaven, and no condemnation, all will go to heaven. Hallelujah. So this is a wrong way of teaching. Yes, as I say, subjectively, Jesus won all this for you and for me. But objectively, we are to come to Jesus and receive it. Hallelujah. For reconciliation, we have to repent and reconcile to others. Then we get reconciled. And in order to be liberated, we must make sure that we are liberated from addictions. Uh, various kinds of addiction nowadays, maybe addiction to the computer, to the pornography, or many, so many addictions, uh, computer games, goes like that. Then I'm not uh, liberated, I'm not redeemed. Although Jesus did it, I had to claim it by renouncing my what you call uh, bondages and also justifying and ask ourselves, uh, can Jesus look at me and say, I don't impute any sin on you? Uh, if you are hidden any sin, if you are not really changed and uh, claiming my for the occasions of sin, surely we are not justified before the Lord. I cannot say, I have no more condemnation. Also, the third point, am I holy? Am I able to say, I am perfect as the Holy Father is perfect? Am I holy as God is holy? Uh, perhaps so much unholiness we see. Here we need to wash ourselves more and more by our repentance, by good works, or maybe going daily to Holy Mass, maybe praying every day personally, reading the Holy Bible. There are so many things provided in the church to get all these for fruits of the resurrection. Let us do that continuously. That is Christian life, reaping the fruits of the resurrected Jesus and living like that. Then we heard a reading, second reading, uh, seek the things that are above, not things that are below. That means always our attention must be heaven word, uh, Jesus word, the Trinity word, God word, not earth word, not earthly things. That's why that reading. And we heard to Cornelius uh, how Peter was speaking. Jesus who died, they killed, that's the word used. But he was the third day, and his power only brought me here. We you know, it ended up in his baptism, uh, then the chapter of Acts of the Apostles. So, went on proclaiming the death of Jesus, that's very important. 
death and resurrection of Jesus. That is a key point of proclamation in any evangelization. Say, Jesus came. He died for us. He rose again. He is living amidst us. And that should strike the heart of the people towards attaining this life of resurrection. And uh, that proclamation is lacking today in the world. Only maybe a few charismatics preach that effective and powerful preaching of the word of God that Jesus rose again. He is living amidst us. He took away our sins. He died for our sins. That has to be made clear to the people of God. This is what I do, Richie do, and many other preachers are doing. And let's pray that we may have, again, the continuous ministry of preaching God's word. Uh, that is, presenting Jesus to the people that they may find, they may obtain salvation. And at this moment, let us tell the people with so disappointed, sad, uh, confused. What is the future after this uh, uh, coronavirus? We can see many, many articles, many, many, but uh, what is after this? Why do we worry so much about this? God has a plan. Nothing happened out of his plan. He knows um, when Jesus was, died on the cross, the whole world thought everything finished. But God, the Father, had a plan. He knew what is going to happen next. Even the closest apostles, closest women, all thought finished. Uh, end of the road. No, the road is not ended. It continues, surely a bending. Let's take these messages in our life. Thank God and praise God. We'll stand up and uh, profess our faith and sit down and share our prayers. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son of the Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered and conscious spirit, was crucified and buried, in the heaven and the hell, and the third day was from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From then he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the Lord, and the life of the Lord. Let us sit down and bring all our prayers, petitions. Lord Jesus, thank you for the message of the resurrection. There are times when difficulties come. When there are crosses or crises, we feel everything finished, ended. And we human beings find no further end. We don't find a way. But you are telling us, no, the road is not ended. Surely a bend. Go ahead. And I'm with you, Lord Jesus. That's a promise you are giving us always. Yes. And also you are telling us, ultimately, truth will rise again. <clears throat> Here we see the truth rising again. Nobody can hide truth. Nobody can bury truth. Nobody can put truth in the tomb. The tomb will break and the life, truth will come out. You are life, you are truth. Lord, help us to learn from you and go ahead with the hope, especially in this time of crisis. We pray to you for all this. Lord, them for all their intentions. We're praying for their families, for their brothers, sisters, parents children, grandchildren, nephews and nieces and maybe others, other relatives or friends or families they know or co-workers. Lord, we take all their intentions, Lord, and put them, place them on the altar now to, uh, to be taken and changed by you, Lord. We pray that you hear all their prayers and grant them all the wishes of their hearts, Lord. We pray to you, Lord. Lord, Lord our prayer. prayer. Lord, I pray for all those who are in different situations and have different problems and burdens where they say there's no hope it finishes here this is the end of the road show them in your supernatural way that that's not true and that you never that there, there's never the end of the road and that you never just finish a story like that i finish uh i pray to you lord lord, lord, I, lord, I, lord I pray for all the people or uh, children whose parents are not married and whose parents are leading a sinful life. Um, I pray that you may show the children and the parents that it's not a good way of leading their life and that you may bring them to you. I pray to you, Lord. Lord, 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 Lord
everybody that's infected by corona and everybody that died. I pray that you may raise them from the dead and that everything may heal and the world should be no more as it was before. Love your prayer. Love your prayer. Love your prayer. For many people who are feeling hopeless, many dear ones died with the corona. But the dear ones are sick with the corona or the disease. And the doctor said, there's no cure. It's finished. There are so many like that. Lord, we pray that the message of resurrection, message of hope may be given to them in their heart. So that with the joy in the heart, they may go ahead in life. We pray to you, O oh Lord. Lord, yeah. Lord Jesus, <clears throat> we bring to you Christianity, Lord. We bring to you, especially also the Roman Catholic Church. Oftentimes, our spirituality, our belief, our faith, is all about ourselves, Lord Jesus. We ask what we want for ourselves, what we want for our families. We ask for healing for ourselves and our friends. Lord Jesus, without ever asking you what you want for ourselves and for our lives, Lord Jesus, we pray that you open the eyes of the church, the eyes of all those who believe in you as the risen Lord and as their Savior, that we may be able to understand that our church and our religion and what we do in our lives is really truly about you and not about what we desire, Lord. We pray to you, Lord. Lord, Lord. Lord. Now we hear the news that the number of people who are affected by corona disease is coming down in Europe, although it is on English in UK, and United States of America. We bring this situation, Lord. We pray, pray especially for USA and UK, that you may touch everyone so that this uh, virus might not spread more. And we are happy, we are thankful that it's coming down in Europe, although the number of death increase in those were affected. Lord Jesus, come to this situation with the hope and people may put Faith in you that this crisis will come to an end very soon and there will be a day of resurrection. We pray to you, O oh Lord. Lord, 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 Lord. Lord. Lord, I pray for all the people that are right now on the streets that are without house, that are without bed or anything with what they can sleep, Lord. I pray that you may bless them, Lord, and that you may sanctify them and give them everything they need. We pray to you, Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Lord, I pray for the place all over the world, Lord, that for them especially will be a day of the selection, that for them today will be a happy Easter, that they will really grasp the meaning that the Lord is using. We pray to you, Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Lord, there are a few people who are especially I pronounce their name, Maria Angele from uh, uh, Spain, and also Javier. And uh, two, there are two people, the Javier, who need a prayer, and uh, Eva, and also Barbara, and uh, Angela, there are two, and also four or five people, the name Maria. And also from Italy, one of my relatives, a daughter, watch up, asking for prayer for five people. They are not Indians, but Italians, because she's a nurse working in the hospital. Lord, I bring all those five into your heart, Lord Jesus. Also, names are like Eva, Ivana, and uh, uh, Eva, uh, Eva, Ivana, Evelyn, Evelyn, uh, from uh, from Croatian side, ask for special prayer. Also, from Poland, Peter, Peter, and also two people with the name Peter with a uh, suspected corona. And another person who is suffering much from, uh, her name is Ania, from cancer, also lung disease, and uh, on the point of death, ask for a prayer. And also there are some other names from our country, Germany, <coughs> France, Ingrid, and uh, Lydia, and Lisa, and Louisa, and uh, Mary Ann, Lord Jesus, have mercy, Lord. Perhaps there may be some other names on the internet. I did not open the emails today. You know them, Lord. I bring them all to your mighty presence for your touch. Heal them, Lord. We pray for all those who are affected by corona or other diseases in Europe, in Africa, and in Asian countries, my own country, India, Kerala, and also 
in the oceanic countries, especially uh, in uh, Sydney and uh, that area uh, in uh, Australia, and also all the Gulf countries. Uh, many are getting sick, but uh, they are not revealing the truth. Lord Jesus, we ask you to touch them and come to heal them, God. We should bring all the people in the oceanic area, Lord, also in the Antarctic area. Touch them, heal them. We pray to you, O oh Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord. Lord. Lord Jesus, we pray for the intentions um, of people online. We pray with together with Eva Krusliak that, um, Lord, she's praying, Lord, keep changing our hearts so that they may be more and more like yours as you are living in us. We pray um, for Irene's son, Hubert, Lord, that you may bless him in a special way. Lord, we're praying together with, with Elke that you may, Jesus, you may heal the three-month-old baby and his father from COVID-19. We're praying together with Angelica Napolitano that, Lord, you may be close to the Italian people. And together with Anki, we're bringing all the people who are living in slums and all who have lost their jobs. We pray for to your Lord. Lord, Lord yeah, yeah. Our prayer. Lord, I pray especially for Tanzania, for whom today we ask uh, Lucy and uh, Joshua for prayer. We can be standing with the faith, Lord. So there are some people with the corona. Touch them, kill them, Lord. Also, I let her from. Start coming on, my superior government of our countries. They are very much scared. Also from Ecuador, my mission is so much of a thought that so many people dying and no proper hygiene there, no proper rules by the government. People are getting illness and dying. Lord, I pray for them very specially. Lord Jesus, touch them. Heal them. We pray to you, O oh Lord. Lord, no, no, no. <clears throat> we pray for a uh, bit of a small island, Seychelles, Lord Jesus. Yes, uh, two people go, we are scared. God is only our hope. We don't rely on anything else. We know that small country completely relies on you. Yeah, there are many problems, Lord Jesus, but don't burden them with the problem of Corona. Lord Jesus, we are beloved ones there whom we love so much, and we decide to go there again to evangelize, Lord Jesus, and bless Seychelles and all our dear ones, we pray to you, O oh Lord. Lord, we are But we pray for America, South America, and uh, North America. We feel sad about New York, Michigan, and uh, Louisiana, all those places where many are dying. They say not even proper burial. They are simply put into dance and the big halls and simply mud put over the dead bodies. And Lord Jesus, we hear. A lot of things we don't believe all that's what is hurt, but still we know that many are dying even one day. Two thousand people died, sad. Oh my Jesus, have mercy on all those who died. We heard that over hundred thousand people died already with the corona. Lord Jesus, give them eternal life. Console the bereaved families. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, 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 Lord. Lord, once again we pray for all the governments trying to do their best to come out of this situation. Lord, we pray for all the governments and all the bodies of the hospitals uh, or the um, uh, clinics trying their level best. We pray for doctors, nurses, and the health workers, health carers. But protect them, Lord. We felt sad, as the Pope was telling. Over 100 priests died. They were asked to come away from the patient, but they uh, were crying and telling them, my people, and they went and died with the corona. Also, much more doctors die like that. Even their own wives and children were told not to go to hospitals and work, but they said, no, patients are my patients. I will go and die for them. My Jesus, we admire the courage, we admire the martyrdom. Lord Jesus, protect all the doctors. All those are taken care of patients. We pray to you, O oh Lord. Lord, Lord. 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 Lord Jesus, together with Monica Maria on Facebook, we pray for Sicily, especially for Giovanna and her family. To, together with Katarina, we pray for Maria, John, William, Marianne, Ferro, Edita, Marian, Katka, Dominic, Lucas, Tobias, Roland. And we pray for all intentions of uh, the people watching on Facebook and YouTube. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, 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 Lord Jesus, right now we pray in silence for all our news. Lord, we bring all our near and dear ones in this pattern and chalice. 
in different countries a lot. Yes, in Germany, Austria, in uh, Switzerland, and Slovenia, and Croatia, Poland, Czech Republic, and in African countries, especially in South Africa, there are also there is lockdown, strict lockdown. Some people died, many people died. We went to you, died, you were there. We bring all the dear ones there and in Seychelles. And also people lost Jesus, you know, France, Spain, Italy, and, uh, and also UK. We bring all those people whom we wish last to them and their intentions. We praise them, their families. You know their intentions. You know these people who are now in this mass. In spirit and truth, we bring them. Their children, grandchildren, their parents, that is, sisters, near ones, and place them in this pattern, Charis. Lord, bring healing, protection, spiritual and material blessings. God the Father, hear us, God the Son, Holy Spirit, hear our prayer. Mercy on your people, Lord. Acceptable to God, your almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name. For our good and the good of all his holy church. Certain with the Paschal happiness, O Lord, we offer the sacrifice by which your church is wonderfully reborn and nourished to Jesus Christ, O Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, and with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift your mouth to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this day, above all, to praise you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is true Lamb who is taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with the Paschal joy, every land, every people exult in your praise, and even the heavenly powers 
with the angelic host, singing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. <laughs> To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifice, which we offer you mainly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to God, unite and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant, Pope Francis, Reinhard, our bishop, all the bishops, priests, religious, who hold the truth and propagate truth. Remember, Lord, especially people whom we remember at this altar, our parents, brothers, sisters, our families, our near and dear ones. Especially I pray for those who are dear to me in my work of evangelization, who cooperate with me, Lord Jesus, that God be rich and many others in various countries, and my spiritual children all over the world, and also Lord Jesus, my blood relatives in Kerala, elsewhere, brothers and sisters, their families. Also, Jesus, all those who are somewhere connected with me through retreats, various countries, or 104 countries. I bring them all and pray for them, Lord Jesus, now. Have mercy, Lord. And all who gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you, for them we offer you the sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves, and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls, in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those memories we venerate, especially the glorious ever Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blesses Joseph, her spouse, blessed apostles, martyrs, Peter, and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cretus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John, and Paul, Cosmos, Damien, John Paul II, and John XXIII, Father Pio, Faustina, and Martin de Porres, Rosh of Lima, and Savara Kuria Kush, and all other saints. We ask through their merits and prayers, in all things we may be defended from the evil and protected from all illness of soul and body that may cling to the Lord Jesus Christ forever. Celebrating the most sacred day of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ in the flesh and in communion with those whose memory we venerate now we praise and thank you, Lord Jesus.
We please, O oh God, we pray to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and the blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bed in his holy and venerable hands and with eyes raised up to heaven, <coughs> gave you thanks, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Hallelujah to the Lord. Hallelujah to the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus is risen from the dead. Jesus is risen. Jesus is In a similar way, he took the precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving thanks, he gave to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. For participating now in this mass. Within the church, we sing, Jesus, we adore you. Jesus, we adore you. Let our lives be Mystery of faith. We proclaim the death of God and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O oh Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, be your servant and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts mm -hmm. you are given us this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, a holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as one priest to accept the gift of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing.
Hello, but also Lord, your servants who are gone before us, marked with the sign of faith and resting in peace for the resurrection. Our brothers, sisters, parents, grandparents, and sisters, near and dear ones, people among whom we worked and now they are no more, or people for whom Dr. Richie served in the hospital and died, also maybe our neighbors, friends, acquaintances, uh, colleagues, they are no more on this world. We remember them now especially. Grant them, O oh Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who, though, who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints, especially Benedict, the patron of Europe, and the patrons of all other countries, and our own special patrons and saints. We wish you that we may be admitted into their company, not weighing our marriage, but granting us your pardon and protection to Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, our God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let's be united in heart, mind, and body. We are one in Christ. In the recent Lord. The whole church is risen with Christ Jesus. And we are a miniature, a small form of the church that's been united by the Holy Spirit. Lord, we join our hearts now, not only with this family now, <coughs> all families participating in this Mass. In spirit, we see them, Lord. And with all the families in the world. Yes, Father, you are our Father. We have a right to call you Father because you gave us the Holy Spirit. Through the Spirit of the risen Lord, we call you Abba, Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and occasions of sin. Protect us from all evil, dangers, accidents, sicknesses, especially from corona and other viruses, bacteria, and other deadly sickness. And also from all kinds of social problems, financial problems, and all the worries and anxieties, undue anxieties and worries. Until the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory of us now forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I give you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Grant her peace and unity according to your holy will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let's offer each other a sign of peace. Peace to you all. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again I say rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again I say rejoice. 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 And again I say rejoice. 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 And again I shall rejoice. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, lend us peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, lend us peace.
us. Bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, with the faith and love and mercy we greet you about in the your blood. Let it not bring us condemnation, but health of mind and body. Jesus Christ, the risen Lord, the Lamb that takes away our sins and the sins of the whole world. Blessed are those who are invited to this supper. Lord, 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 and otherwise, with all the blessings he has promised for those who believe in him. Healing, liberation, spiritual, physical, material blessings. Lord, come in the hearts of everyone who desires you right now. Especially participating in this Mass. People around this altar, people in different countries, places, with the faith participating in this Mass. Come into them, Lord. And it will do their heart and their life. Into my heart, into my heart, come into my heart, Lord Jesus, come into me, come in. To say, come into my heart, Lord Jesus, into my life, into my life, come into my life. Lord Jesus, come into me, come into stay, come into my life, Lord Jesus. experience the mighty living presence of Jesus in you. If you really believe he is there in your heart, in your mind and body. If you are not believed, even if you receive in the form of bread and wine, he is not there. Believe. Love him with all your heart. Commit yourself to him for an authentic Catholic Christian life. Believe that you are redeemed. You are reconciled with the God who is love. You are justified, no more condemnation. You are holy, you are made holy by the holiness of Jesus. Because you have taken part in the communion. You have a divine nature that is holy, the nature of Jesus, the nature of Trinity. Believe, have it. Lord Jesus, thank you for this unique moment. We are really risen. We believe that we are no more condemnation. We believe that we are really liberated and we are made holy. We want to continue this experience, experience of your resurrection. Holy Spirit, Lord, make it possible. Come. Come into our hearts. Come into the hearts of everyone and sanctify 
Oh, Holy Spirit, bring the mighty presence of the risen Lord and the Father in us. Make us carriers of the Trinity. Enable us to be aware of the Holy Trinity living in us. Oh, we are a great people. Yes, we are a chosen race. We are God's own people. We are a holy people. We are royal priests. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Bless you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Hallelujah. 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 Passover has been sacrificed. Hallelujah. Therefore, let us keep the feast of the unleavened bread of purity and truth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Look upon your church, O Lord, with unfailing love and favor, so that, renewed by the Paschal mysteries, she may come to the glory of the resurrection. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Bow your heads for God's blessings. May Almighty God bless you through today's Easter solemnity and in His compassion defend you from every assault of sin. Amen. Amen. And He who, re who restores you to eternal life in the resurrection of His only begotten Son, fill you with the price of immortality. Amen. 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 Now that the days of the Lord's passion have drawn to a cross, may you who celebrate the happiness of the Paschal Feast come with Christ's help and exulting in spirit to those feasts that are celebrated in eternal joy. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Lord is risen indeed, and let us rejoice with the peace and joy in Him. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Hail Mary. Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Bless you, and your mother, and bless the fruit of our Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now we have our Father. Mary, help of Christians. Pray for us. Sin Michael, the Archangel. Defend us in battle. Be our protection against the malice and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him with happy prayer and our friends for the heavenly host. By the power of Christ, rest of the hell, Satan and all evil spirits. For God is the world, to the ruin of souls. Amen. Have you got a question, the joy of the Lord is mine. Joy, 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 down in my heart. Down in my heart. Down in my heart. I got the joy, 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 down in my heart. Glory to His name. I'm so happy. Yeah. 
in the coming week, that's a week of uh, divine mercy, we have mass exactly like this at three o'clock in the afternoon. Three. Can you say no? Can you know? Also, we have also entschlossen in the coming week, and so the week of the Göttlichen Barmherzigkeit, genauso wie jetzt aktuell die Heilige Messe grundsätzlich um 15 Uhr zu feiern. Für die kommende Woche gilt Heilige Messe um 15 Uhr. Pour cette semaine prochaine, nous um, célébrerons la Sainte Messe à 3 heures d'après-midi. À 3 heures d'après-midi, la Sainte Messe tous les jours dans cette semaine de la Miséricorde Divine. Et cette semaine de la Divine Miséricorde, célébrerons la Santa Missa à las 13 de la tarde. À las 13 de la tarde, la Santa Missa en esta semaine qui vient. Tous les jours. Amen. Jésus est risé. Alléluia. Jésus Amen. 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 Amen.